Hey guys, Terry here, and I'm back with another Unity tutorial for beginners. Now, a problem a lot of people have is how do I bone rig a sprite and then make my own animations? I'm not an artist. I'm not that great at making sprite sheets. How do I do this easy? And there's so many tutorials. Gosh, it's hard. So I'm going to show you the way I create bone rigged animations. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to use um, a free asset off the Unity Store. So you just head over to your Unity Store window, and uh, it's called Night um, Sprite Sheet. It's a free asset that you can get. <laughs> you know, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so Night Sprite Sheet free. You just click on import. Now, I already have it imported, but you would just then import the sprite sheet um, once it's in your assets, of course. So, once you have that imported, you're going to notice that under Night Files, there's a folder called Body Parts. Now, you need to actually put all these body parts onto one sprite sheet. And I want to show you the one I made. You want to make very certain, now this is important, okay, you want to make sure that the body parts are far enough apart so that Unity won't pick them up as one body part. Um, for instance, if you have this hip here too close to the torso, it uh, when you, I'll show you later, when you add weights and stuff, it'll sometimes pick that up as one image. You gotta be careful with that. Okay, so once you have a sprite sheet created, you're going to go ahead and click on Sprite Editor. Oh, <laughs> one more step. You have to make sure you have a certain package installed. Go to go to Window and Package Manager. You have to have this 2D animation package installed. It's free. It's for Unity. You see mine says Remove. I already have it installed. All right, so <laughs> click on Sprite Editor. And then up here on the top left, you'll now have what's called a Skinning Editor. You want to click on that. All right, now this is where the magic happens. This is amazing. So you click on Create Bone. Um, and one thing you have to understand, the first bone you make is the root bone. It moves the whole animation. It doesn't really, you know, animate. It just moves everything. So we'll go ahead and put our root bone. Oh, double click on. If you can't draw a bone, double click on your sprite so you get these uh, orange outlines and then you can draw bones. Make sure you're on create bone. And I'm going to make the first one just right here kind of little. All right. And then you see I can make a connecting bone. Now that's going to control the animation for my chest, the moving back and forth. All right. Now it wants me to make a third, but I don't want to. You don't want ugly bones going up here because later on you're going to move those images. So you hit the right mouse button and that goes away. But you do want the bones linked. So you then click that bone that's closest. And now you see you have an invisible line. And we're going to go ahead and make the head bone. And then right mouse. Okay. And then I'm, I want a joint in my arms here. So I'll make the top part of the arm down to here. And then the bottom part of the arm. And then I'll exit out. And see I'm still linked, which is perfect. So then I'll do the same thing over here, the top part of the arm, and then the bottom part of the arm, and then left click. All right, now I don't want my hips linked to my torso. So I just right mouse. I can make a free bone down here on what's going to be my hips, right there, and then right mouse, and then of course click that bone so I'm linked. And I'm going to do knees in my legs. Even though there aren't any knees here, we're going to have knees. So I'm going to go down to about right where the knee graphic is, I suppose, in the middle of it. And then I'm going to make the bottom part of the leg. Okay, now I'm still linked because I only left cl right clicked once. And then I'm going to do that again here. There we go. Now we have that. Now, I do want a bone for my sword because if you notice in uh, the sprite sheet, the sword is behind the character in majority of the walking, running animations. So I'm just going to click my root bone here. And that way, when the character moves, the, the sword will also move. 
Um, and I'm contemplating maybe I should just connect the sword to the torso. Um, but I don't know how that will affect future things. So we'll just connect it to the root bone. In fact, when the torso moves, I do want the sword to move. It's on the torso. So we'll connect the yellow torso bone to the sword. That way, when we animate the character and the body of the character moves, the sword behind the character will also move. These are all decisions you'll have to make with your uh, sprites. So there we go. That's all done. Now, this is super easy. We just go over to Auto Geometry. And if you notice, I have the Weights tab clicked. You want to keep that clicked so you can avoid going over to Auto Weights. It just does it all for you in one shot. Hit Generate for Selected. And boom, there we go. It does a great job. If you look, the green bone only controls this green area. Okay, the yellow bone only controls this. It did paint this red, which is neat, but you can't spin red. It'll spin the whole character. Purple, blue, light blue, dark blue. See, that's amazing. Now, what this means is I can bend my knees. I'm going to apply this real quick. And then we're going to go over here to preview pose so we can test it out. So as you see, you know, uh, the sword, the arms, there's a little bit of deformation going on there, but that's to be expected because um, we don't have two pieces here, just one. And you can, you can adjust all that with the weights. I think it looks okay, though, for our intents and purposes. And see... When the body moves, the sword will move. Um, we have the legs. Okay, so this is great. Now, weights, or I'm sorry, depth, the layers are super important. So let's go over that real quick. Now, a prime example is the head. We want, oh, we don't want to do that. Uh, let me explain to you. If you click the black dot in the bottom, you can move the whole thing. If you click the... Uh, other part it, you can animate it okay and then reset pose just goes back to this um, now if you look never mind the orange line that's not important okay but the animation is clipping you see that you can't see the whole face through the armor you need to be able to see the face through the armor because the face is in front of the armor so the armor bone here has a depth of zero we're gonna give it a depth of one and you'll see why in a minute and the bottom one, it's also part of the armor, or the chest plate, we'll give it a depth of one. Now the head, we're gonna give that a depth of two. Now what that does is allows the head to be in front of the armor. See, perfect, that's beautiful. Now the arms, the right arm needs to be in front. Wait, yeah, because it's closest to you because the character is standing tilted, right? So we need to set both these arm bones to a number higher than the chest plate, which is one. So we'll put both of these at two. Perfect. And that'll give the illusion of depth. Now, the way you position them here doesn't matter for a hill of beans. This is just for testing. Okay, and then this one here needs to be behind which it should already be because that gives the illusion of depth if you put it behind and a little bit smaller like that all right now the hips oh don't do that <laughs> they need to be in front of the armor in front of this hand but behind this hand so this is a two the armor is a one and this is a zero so since these are a one, we're going to have to make this a two, which means we're going to have to increase the arm over there by one. Let's see. Now we're in front, but the arm here, this part of the arm, which is going to affect this part, that needs to be a three. So that that way it's in front. You see? That's important. Now the legs. This leg here. That's behind, that's good. And this leg here, ah, come on. That's behind, that's good. But for the illusion of depth, this leg needs to be in front of that leg. All right, 
So this leg is at zero. We'll just put this leg at one. See, now it's in front of that leg. <clears throat> now, that's good. All the layers in depth are all set. Yep, yep. And the sword, though, let's make sure that it's behind everything. It is. That's beautiful. Because, see, it's going to be kind of like, you know, behind the character in your animations, right? When you're walking, at least, it's going to be kind of like that. And you're going to want it to move. So, see, it does. If you move the whole torso because you're walking, well, the sword moves because the way it's linked. So, that's beautiful. The layers are beautiful. That's all good. We're going to apply that. All right. Now, there's something else that I wanted to show, and that's the geometry. So, if you look, it's not beautiful. You see, I've got a square line here for the arm when really it should be in like this. I'm not going to mess with that, but if you wanted to mess with that, you would lay your parts back out and you would edit geometry. And you could move the vertices in. You know, for this tutorial, that's not real important. In my game, I've done that. So, now that that's done, we're like 90% done. We just close out of this guy, we're done with that, okay? Now we're going to drag this rigid body sprite we just edited into our game. Now you're going to think, oh gosh, it's all separated, and that's fine. We're going to fix that. And we need to go over here, we need to add a component, okay? And we need to add the... Sprite skin. Okay? Now, it asks for a lot of stuff, and we're just going to hit create bones. It does it for us. It's beautiful. Okay? Now, what that does is allows us to edit and modify this sprite in the scene view to make animations. Now, the layers are already all set up, so you're just going to drag things in to where it looks good. Um, Let's zoom this in because you can't really see it. <laughs> okay, that looks really bad zoomed in, but um, and we're going to move this over here. We're going to move this one behind there. Put that up here. You get the idea. You just position it how it's going to look good. All right, and we're just going to do a rough here. I'm not going to go through and do this all pretty. It's time limitations, right? I'm just going to show you the basic, what you do. So there you go. Get your parts all in order. If you don't want to see the bones, just click somewhere else. You know, obviously he's not the best, right? But we're going to keep it like that for now, okay? Now... We're going to click on Night Body Parts, and you should probably rename it Player or something. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. So, I kind of want to scale him so he's bigger here. He is really incredibly small. So, you can go to Night Body Parts. Do scale, like, 1.7. I don't know. That might not even be big enough. We'll go 5. Screw it. There we go. Now you can see him a little better. Um, and we'll move him to where we want him. Okay, there you go. Now if you uh, want to move some parts around, say the legs are just, you know, not right. You can do that. All right. But you don't want to see me tweak this guy and make him look perfect. You want to see an animation. So... You click on Night Body Parts, and then you go Window, Animation, Animation. All right, now this says to begin, I need to make some stuff. Just say yes. And then I'm going to name this uh, Night Idle or whatever, yeah. Or Night Wave. We'll just do a waving animation, okay? We'll hit Save. All right, now. Normally you would dock this somewhere pretty, I'm out of, 
I have an extra monitor, but I'm out of space. I'm recording for you guys. So what we're going to do is hit record. Okay. This is how it's going to look when we start. Then we're going to jump to say, I don't know, 20. Okay. And we're going to move this arm up. Oh, gosh. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Make sure you click the right part of your bones. And Control z is your friend, okay? So we're going to take this bone, move it up a little, and out a little. I don't know. I'm doing this totally wrong. We're going to go here and uh, move it in a little, right? And then we'll go here and uh, move it in and up. Uh, you know, whatever. Okay, there's an animation. It's crap. But that's an animation, okay? Now we're going to hit play. And see, he moves his arm. Right? It, it's really that easy. And then you can edit the animation. See, we're still recording, so I can add more frames in, make him do more stuff. Um, so, for instance, let's go here and, I don't know, move his leg. <laughs> you know, I mean... And then we'll go here and move this leg. And then we'll hit play. Oops. <laughs> Wrong play. <laughs> we'll hit this play. Now see, I mean, it's, it's ghetto, right? This is a crap animation. But that is how you do it. That's how you animate a character relatively easily in uh, Unity. So I hope you guys learned something. And... Uh, I will see you in the next video.